Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to eHang. We are going to talk about EVTOL Company Ranking by US Aviation Weekly. The related link for this episode has been provided in the description of the video. This episode is a bit different in that the presented information may not be in line with what you believe as eHang fan or investor. eHang fans and investors may believe that eHang is the leader in the electric aviation industry. But, other people, including the stock market and some so-called aviation experts, may have different opinions. It is good to be open-minded and know different viewpoints. Next, let's see the EVTOL or AAM, Advanced Air Mobility, ranking. Recently, the January issue of Aviation Weekly released the results of the 2021 AAM, Advanced Air Mobility, Enterprise Selection and Ranking. The electric aviation companies, Joby, Lilium, Archer, and Vertical, which were listed in the United States through SPAC last year, ranked 1st, 4th, 5th and 6th, respectively. Ehang, which achieved listing through conventional means in 2019, ranked 7th. These electric aviation companies, except for Ehang, listed through SPAC are basically still in research and development stage without product sales and revenue, and may not be qualified through conventional means for listing. For example, Archer achieved listing without flying a full-scale aircraft. The reason why these companies choose SPAC to go public is that SPAC listing provides enterprises with a simple, fast, efficient and definite path to listing and financing, and can provide a fast exit channel for private capital, especially for electric aviation startups. Even the third-ranked Volocopter once announced its intention to use a SPAC to go public, but a lot of things happened later. In November 2021, Volocopter announced that it would give up listing in the United States through a SPAC. In the previous ranking in 2020, Ehang was ranked first. Next, let's go through the list and see the main reasons for the ranking change. Ranked first is Joby. For Joby, the rank has been changed to 1. The previous rank is 2. The rank change is due to 1.2 billion fund raised through SPAC and certification progress. Next, Beta. For Beta, which is not listed yet. The rank has been changed to 2. The previous rank is 3. The rank change is due to 500 million raised plus testing progress. Next, Volocopter. For Volocopter. The rank has been changed to 3. The previous rank is 4. The rank change is due to acquired POA and China joint venture, note, with Geely. Next, Lilium. For Lilium. The rank has been changed to 4. The previous rank is 5. The rank change is due to 584 million raised through SPAC in technology demonstration flight. It is noted that for the top 4s, the rank change for each is small, with the upward swift by 1. Next, Archer. For Archer, which was not even in the list before. The rank is 5. The rank change is due to 858 million raised through SPAC and technology demonstration flight. Next, Vertical. For Vertical. The rank has been changed to 6. The previous rank is 12. The rank change is due to 300 million raised through SPAC. Next, Ehang. For Ehang. The rank has been changed to 7. The previous rank is 1. The rank change is due to change in business model to operator. The only reason mentioned here is business model change to operator, which by itself is considered as a good move. They don't even mention the Ehang certification is imminent in few months. For Ehang fans and investors, this Ehang's rank change is bizarre. It appears that the Aviation Weekly may basically follow the valuation or market cap to do the ranking. And the market cap may be proportional to the company's cash amount particularly for a startup company, which has no sales and revenue. Next, let's see the EVTOL US stock ranking by market cap, as of today, January 18, 2022. Company. Ticker. Market cap in US dollars. Stock price. Ranked first by valuation or market cap is. Joby. Ticker, Joby. Market cap, 3.092 billion. Stock price, 5.12. Second. Lilium. ILM. 1.679 billion. 5.91. Third. Vertical. 
EVTL. 1.596 billion. 7.63. Fourth. Ehang. EH. 906.818 million. 16.36. Fifth. Archer. ACHR. 854.392 million. 3.60. As you can see, the opinions of the general market and the media may be quite different than yours. What is important is do your own due diligence and maintain your own independent critical thinking instead of being merely affected by the media. For Ehang fans and investors who have closely followed Ehang and known its significant progresses in 2021, the Ehang's valuation along with the rank change is expected to be a temporary dislocation as believed by Ehang CFO and reported in a recent episode. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.